Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video podcast from Vitstoria. My name is Morko Pinar. A cesarean section is a life-saving operation performed when normal delivery of a calf is impossible. The decision to perform this procedure is made by a veterinarian after careful assessment of the cow. The operation is usually performed on the premises where the cow is kept and we are now going to show you precisely how this is done and how little discomfort is involved for both the cow and the calf. Here we are in the stables. The cow has already been examined and the decision to perform a caesarean has been made. The left flank of the cow is being washed and shaved. To avoid any discomfort, a local anesthetic is now injected along the line of the incision. As for any other operation, the vet needs to scrub with an antiseptic solution and to prepare his sterile instruments. Uh, we can now see the surgical site that is being scrubbed. The vet finally applies some surgical spirit to the skin to kill any remaining germs. The skin incision is made from top to bottom and it is followed by an incision of the muscle layer. The vet is already gaining access to the abdominal cavity which is now fully open. He then looks for the uterus which contains the calf. We can't see it, but the vet tries to get hold of the hind legs of the calf. He tries to get a better grip. Here we go, he's got it. The uterus is now exposed and ready to be incised. The amniotic liquid is coming out of the uterus. The vet grabs the hind legs of the calf. But to get the calf out is a two-person job and the farmer's help is requested. The calf is turned upside down and the vet grabs the umbilicus to protect it. The calf is out of the uterus and is deposited on a deep bedding of fresh straw. It is important to remove any mucus coming out of the nostrils and to make sure the umbilicus is sectioned properly. What a beautiful calf. He is very large which explains the need for a caesarean section. The vet scrubs again before getting back to the cow. He needs to check the cotyledons, which are the structures which link the placenta to the uterus. He needs to make sure that they are not bleeding. In this case, everything is fine and the whole lot is stuffed back into the uterus.
it is now time to stitch up the uterus and it needs to be sutured in two layers. Here we can see the second layer of stitches being applied. This ensures that there won't be any leakage from the uterus inside the abdominal cavity. The muscles also get sutured back together again in two separate layers. Here we can see the vet stitching the first layer. And here we can see him stitching the second layer. Finally, the skin is closed with a single layer of stitches. Here we can appreciate the neat incision at the end of the procedure. To reduce the risk of infection, the surgical site is sprayed with an antiseptic. As you can see for yourself, both the cow and the calf are doing extremely well and already busy bonding. The farmer has milked the cow to obtain the first milk, which is called colostrum. The calf is bottle fed to ensure that he will get the colostrum and get a very good start in life. I hope you appreciated how both the calf and the cow seemed comfortable all the way through the operation. A caesarean section is not only a life-saving procedure, it is also very well tolerated by the animals and in the hands of a competent surgeon leads to very few complications. Well, that concludes today's program. Thank you for listening and remember to check out vetstoria.com for further video podcasts and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions for future topics. Goodbye.